video in the corn circle here and uh, part of that was just being busy uh, just sort of like forgetting that it's really important to document what's happening um, and I had a little bit of a disappointment because um, the corn and this is supposed to be the corn spiral of a corn circle it, it, it never grew and it's the I find it's like one of the strangest things I don't really know what to make of um, what happened here so I'm still doing some research to figure out what the what the issue was but sadly I don't think I'm gonna get any corn this season but you know sometimes you can put aside these disappointments because uh, essentially everything else that we planted has grown and now we're sort of in late August and it's all thriving so I'll just show you a couple of things the uh, pumpkin that we planted it's really taking off. It's really kind of like taking over the space and it's kind of really, really interesting to see. I haven't had too much success over the years with uh, pumpkin or squash, but if you take a look here, um, we have uh, some pumpkin here and it's just, it's coming along. So even from yesterday today, this pumpkin, this one specifically has grown, I would say almost double in size. So they are really thriving and uh, there's about five or six different pumpkins throughout this space and uh, if you come with me you can see uh, at first we were trying to direct them to uh, specific places within this uh, space but since then I've just sort of said you know what let's let them go and it's amazing they're kind of taking over the paths you can see right here this one is from way over there and it's crossing um, this other guy here uh, or girl so uh, very, very cool to see and got, we're gonna have lots of pumpkin to share and lots of seeds to be able to um, produce. So sometimes with the pumpkin, I just move it off to the side a little bit so we can keep these paths clear. Now, the other thing to really make note of is the uh, trellises with the beans. Now, as you can see, some of the bean trellises, it climbed all the way to the top as was predicted. Um, we were again, a little bit late in terms of our planting. so. Um, there's uh, some of them are a little bit behind but everywhere you see these pink flowers growing we get this strawberry bean and I'm gonna just pick this one um, you can see how big they are how beautiful they are these are amazing beans and this is a little bit past when they're edible um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bite out of this anyways once they get sort of the color in them they're sort of at the point where they're really going to seed and that's what we want. We want these beans um, to be able to dry them out, shuck them later and share them with our community. But they are edible right now, a little bit um, hardy right now. Um, so it's a little bit past the point. You wanna get them a little smaller and a little greener. So I'll give you another example. Here's one, this one's really small, but um, this is a state when this bean <laughs> can you just take off the ends. You really don't need to. Um, really delicious. Um, you can you can really taste the love. I can really taste the love in it and uh, how much work we put into this space. Um, of course, me and the students who have been helping throughout the course of the last several moon cycles. So. 